In this video, I will be measuring the energy of this hydrogen fuel cell. And I want to know how much energy I will get with one gram of aluminium. So here I have one gram of aluminium. Uh, this aluminium is also not so pure aluminium, but I will test with this aluminium anyway. Uh, here I also have this two mole of potassium hydroxide solution, and this uh, hydrogen fuel cell I already connect to my electronic load. Now we we'll put this aluminium into the electrolyte. And now I need to wait that the electrolyte will react with aluminium and that uh, this compartment will be filled with the hydrogen. Here is my electronic load and you can see that the voltage goes up, uh, but slowly. Uh, for this reason I will boost this production of hydrogen by adding some aluminium foil. Also sorry for the noise because uh, at this moment I run two 3 printers and it's a little bit noisy. But anyway, uh, the load which I set is 100 milliamps and the cutoff voltage will be 0.2 volts. Because the voltage will drop when the cell is on the load. And right now I get 0.94 volts. The voltage goes up again. So I will leave everything and in the end I will see what energy I will get out from one gram of aluminium with this kind of setup. And after almost 6 hours of runtime I get this. So the hydrogen fuel cell on one gram of aluminium was able to run for almost 6 hours. And the capacity which I get was 576 milliamp hours and the energy was 278 milliwatt hours. The energy was smaller because uh, here I only have 0.5 or a little bit less at 0.5 volts. And yeah, so the cell was able to run almost for 6 hours. In my previous test, when I also test this hydrogen fuel cell with one gram of aluminium, I also get a little bit more than five hours of runtime. But because I discharged the cell with only 50 milliamps, the capacity was much smaller, but the cell voltage was a little bit higher. Because the cell voltage in the discharge stage will depend on the discharge load. Bigger will be the load, lower will be the cell voltage. And in this stage, with this hydrogen fuel cell, with one gram of aluminium, uh, I will be also able to run the cell with 200 milliamp slot. Then the discharge time will be almost the same like this one, but I will get better capacity. But in this stage, when I use 200 milliamp slot, then the cell voltage will be also much smaller. So yeah, this was a great discharge test for this hydrogen fuel cell and yeah, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.